take a look at the Trendelenburg positions. So just like with the Fowler's position, these positions come from the last name of a surgeon. So our very first one is just Trendelenburg. And with this position, as you can see with our patient, the patient is supine, but their head is lowered and their feet are elevated. And this position is useful whenever a patient is getting a central venous catheter line placement or it's getting removed like internal jugular or subclavian because it can help decrease the risk of an air embolism. In addition, it's helpful for pelvic surgeries. And in the past, it was one of those positions that you put your patient in whenever they're experiencing hypotension. But does it really help with hypotension? The jury is out on that one. Evidence is showing that possibly this Trendelenburg position doesn't help increase the blood pressure. Instead, it could actually harm cardiac function and lung function, plus it could increase the intracranial pressure. So always check with your hospital's protocols before you place a patient in the Trendelenburg position if they're having hypotension. The next is reverse Trendelenburg, and it is the opposite of Trendelenburg. So if you can understand Trendelenburg, you got reverse Trendelenburg down. This is where the patient again is supine, but the head is going to be elevated and the feet are lowered. And this position is useful for whenever patients are having surgery of their head and neck because whenever they're in this position, it's gonna decrease blood flow and hence hopefully decrease the amount of blood loss. It's also helpful for closed cervical traction. And then lastly is modified Trendelenburg position. So with this position, you can see that our patient is flat in the supine position. Their head is level with their upper body, but their feet are elevated. So that foot of the bed angle is increased. And this position can be helpful with hemodynamic problems because it could potentially increase that venous return, which is why we're elevating those legs. So there was a case study done in 2023 that showed improvement of hemodynamic status of a patient who actually had a grade three hemorrhagic shock. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this series.